Hello kids! And today we have six games! So let's play our first game! Today we have a dolphin and we have a great story about the dolphin! So let's solve the puzzle and also listen to the dolphin story! Let's start! In the shimmering depths of the Sapphire Sea, where the waves danced with the rhythm of the wind, there lived a joyful dolphin named Dolly. She was known across the watery realms for her graceful flips and her heart as pure as the coral sands. Dolly spent her days racing with the currents and playing hide-and-seek among the waves with her fish friends. One serene morning, as the sun painted the sea's surface with hues of gold and amber, Dolly's curiosity was piqued by a peculiar glimmer near the forbidden reef. She yearned for adventure, for something more than just the routine leaps and dives. Her heart ached for a mystery, for something that would add a splash of excitement to her tranquil world. Driven by her desire, Dolly ventured towards the enigmatic light. As she approached, the once familiar waters became strange and uncharted. Fear tickled her fins, but the thrill of discovery propelled her forward. She found herself at the entrance of a sunken ship, its mast tangled in seaweed and its cannons silent sentinels of the deep. Dolly, with courage as vast as the ocean, swam through the creaking wooden corridors of the ship. She discovered a treasure chest, its wood swollen from time under the sea, encrusted with barnacles. Inside, she found trinkets and baubles that shimmered like the surface of the water on a sunny day. Dolly's heart leapt. She had found the adventure she sought, along with treasures untold. But her triumph was short-lived, for the ship began to collapse under the weight of time. The water stirred into a whirlpool of danger, and Dolly found herself trapped. Panic surged through her as she pushed against the closing walls. Her friends, sensing her distress, rushed to the ship. Together, they worked in harmony with the sea, pushing and pulling until Dolly was free. Back in the safety of her home waters, Dolly shared her treasures with her friends. She realized that the true gems were not the sparkling stones or golden coins, but the bonds of friendship and the memories they created together. The Sapphire Sea sang with tales of Dolly's bravery, and she knew that while her journey had ended, the stories of her courage would ripple through the waves forever. As the moon rose and cast a silvery glow over the sea, Dolly swam with a new sense of purpose. The adventure had changed her. She was no longer just a playful dolphin, but a storyteller, a keeper of the sea's secrets. With a joyful flick of her tail, she joined her friends under the starlit sky, ready for the next day's adventures. Emboldened by her experiences and the wisdom gleaned from the deep, Dolly could not ignore the call of the uncharted waters that lay beyond her familiar shores. The reef had become a place not just of comfort, but of inspiration, a starting point for the new tales that beckoned to her from the heart of the Sapphire Sea. After her harrowing adventure and the discovery of sunken treasures, Dolly the Dolphin had become a beacon of inspiration in the Sapphire Sea. Her tale of bravery and the importance of friendship echoed through the currents inspiring her marine companions to dream bigger and swim further. Yet the ocean's depths held more stories, and Dolly's spirit of adventure remained as untamed as the tides. The sapphire sea, ever vast and mysterious, whispered of unexplored realms to Dolly. Each morning brought new wonders, the ballet of the manta rays, the symphony of the whales, and the quiet, intricate dances of the sea anemones. The sea was alive with stories, each creature contributing a verse to its grand narrative. Dolly's heart, now seasoned by peril and emboldened by survival, 
yearn to delve deeper beyond the shimmering surface and the sunlit waters of her home. There were ancient wrecks and deep sea vents, glittering caves and fathomless trenches that called to her. With each story she heard, her resolve grew. She would be the dolphin who bridged worlds, who brought back tales from the abyss to share with her friends in the warm shallows of the Sapphire Sea. One day, as the sun cast its golden net over the water, Dolly encountered an old sea turtle, one that carried the map of countless years on his shell. He spoke of a place where the sea turned from sapphire to indigo, a trench so deep that it was said to hold the secrets of the sea's very birth. The turtle had never ventured there himself. It was a journey for the bold, he said, and he saw that boldness in Dolly's eyes. With a flip of her tail, Dolly thanked the wise turtle and set off towards the horizon. She traveled for days, riding the currents, diving through schools of fish that sparkled like constellations against the darkening blue. She encountered the guardians of the deep, the great white sharks whose eyes held the stories of millennia, and the playful squids whose ink painted trails of mystery in the water. As she reached the edge of the trench, the sea stars illuminated her path, their glow a welcome in the enveloping darkness. Dolly descended, her body slicing through the water with precision and grace. Down, down she went, where the pressure of the water weighed like the stories of all the seas upon her back. Here, in the silence of the deep, Dolly found wonders that few eyes had ever seen, bioluminescent creatures that shone like underwater stars, strange fish with translucent skins, and the slow dance of the jellyfish that seemed to hold the secrets of the deep in their gentle drift. But the trench held dangers, too. Narrow escapes from the jaws of deep-sea predators, swift currents that threatened to sweep her away, and the ever-present risk of the unknown. Yet, Dolly's courage did not waver. She was driven by an insatiable curiosity and a desire to bring back new stories to her aquatic kin. When at last she returned to the familiar waters of the Sapphire Sea, Dolly was changed once more. Her eyes held a depth like the trench she had explored, her voice a new timbre that resonated with the wisdom of the deep. The sea creatures gathered, their eyes wide with wonder, as Dolly recounted her journey into the heart of the ocean. Her stories of the trench became the new legends of the Sapphire Sea, tales of awe that inspired bravery and respect for the vast world beneath the waves. Dolly had become more than a storyteller. She was a testament to the spirit of discovery, a reminder that the ocean's depths are boundless and that every current has a story to tell. As the stars twinkled above the gentle swells of the sea, Dolly understood that her adventures would never truly end. Each wave was a call to the unknown, and with her heart as her compass, she would always answer. And right now we have a star! Great! So let's solve the star puzzle and listen to the star story. Let's go! In the serene world of the glimmering reef, Stella. The sea star was a beacon of cheerfulness. With her vibrant yellow body dotted with playful spots, she was the gem of the seabed. Stella's days were simple and merry as she soaked up the sun's rays through the crystal clear waters and played tag with the passing schools of fish. Yet, in the quiet of the night, when the reef settled into a hushed lull, Stella's heart yearned for adventure. Beyond the reef, the ocean was a vast expanse of mystery and wonder, filled with tales of swirling whirlpools, majestic sea creatures, and treasures hidden in the abyss. Stella's imagination swirled with these stories, 
her desire to explore growing with each passing current. She dreamed of discovering the secrets the ocean held, of witnessing the marvels that lay just beyond her star-shaped reach. One fateful morning, Stella decided to chase her dreams. With a flutter of her arms, she set off into the unknown. The familiar coral structures gave way to open water, and the sunlight wove through the depths, casting patterns of light and shadow. Stella ventured further than she ever had, her excitement mounting with each new sight. She encountered creatures of all shapes and sizes, some that danced gracefully with the currents, and others that shyly peeked from behind the rocks. The deeper Stella traveled, the more wonders she found. She marveled at the dance of the jellyfish, their luminescent bodies pulsing in the dark waters, and watched in awe as a parade of giant turtles glided past, their ancient eyes holding stories of the sea. She discovered gardens of anemones waving their colorful tentacles and schools of fish that glittered like living jewels. The ocean was a canvas of life, each creature a brushstroke of nature's grand design. However, adventure comes with its perils. Stella's exploration led her into the path of a fisherman's net. Caught in its tight weave, she was drawn upwards towards the glaring sun and the world of air. Panic gripped her, but amidst the fear, a wave of determination surged through her. Twisting and turning, she managed to slip through the net's grasp, her body free-falling back to the safety of the ocean's embrace. Stella returned to the glimmering reef, her journey an odyssey that had transformed her. She had sought adventure, and in turn, adventure had revealed to her the boundless heart of the sea. She had faced dangers and had come back with stories etched into her being. The other sea creatures gathered around, eager to hear her tales. Stella spoke of the beauty and the vastness, the darkness and the light of the deep sea her voice a soft melody that whispered of places far and wide. The sea star, once just a part of the reef's fabric, had become its storyteller, its dreamer. And as the moon cast its silver glow upon the waters, Stella realized that her greatest discovery wasn't the places she had seen, but the journey that had unfolded within her. She understood that every ripple in the water Every grain of sand, every ray of light was a part of a larger story, the story of the ocean, now her story too. Stella's adventure in the vast ocean had become a cherished legend among the inhabitants of Glimmering Reef. Her daring escape from the fisherman's net had not only brought her back to the comforting sands of home, but had also ignited a spark of curiosity in her fellow sea creatures. They hung on every word as Stella recounted her journey, her descriptions painting vivid images in their minds. In the days that followed, Stella's story inspired her friends to seek their own adventures, but they always returned to the reef, eager for the safety and camaraderie it offered. The reef was abuzz with excitement, each creature emboldened by Stella's courage, dreaming of their own explorations. Stella, meanwhile, found that her escapade had changed her in ways she hadn't anticipated. Where once the borders of Glimmering Reef had been the edges of her universe, she now saw them as a beginning, not an end. The reef was her home, yes, but the ocean was her calling. Each sunrise brought a new possibility, and with each tide, she felt the pull of the unknown. The ocean, vast and mysterious, whispered to her of undiscovered places, of currents that traveled to the ends of the earth, and of the deep where light dared not venture. Stella was enchanted by these tales, and she knew deep within her stars that her adventures were far from over. As the moonlight danced on the water's surface night after night, Stella would climb to the highest peak of the reef, looking out into the expansive sea. 
She imagined the creatures that roamed in the depths, the shipwrecks that lay silent and still, holding stories of old within their decayed hulls and the dance of the seaweed in the underwater meadows. Then came the day when a gentle giant, a whale named Winston, passed by Glimmering Reef. Winston spoke of distant waters, of icebergs that sparkled like diamonds under the polar night, and of creatures that played in the icy flows. His stories rekindled the flame of adventure in Stella's heart. With a resolve as strong as the currents, Stella bid farewell to her reef family once more. She joined Winston on his journey, traveling further than she ever had. Together, they explored the frozen wonderlands of the poles, where the water sang with the calls of the whales and the ice created a world of serene beauty. Stella learned of the delicate balance of these cold waters, of the creatures that depended on the ice for survival, and of the stars that shone brightly in the clear night skies. She danced with the penguins who slid on their bellies with sheer delight and watched in silent reverence as the auroras painted the sky with colors no coral could replicate. As seasons changed and Winston needed to move on, Stella understood that it was time to return to Glimmering Reef once again. She thanked Winston for the wonders he had shown her, and with a heart full of new tales, she rode the currents back to her home. Stella's return was celebrated throughout the reef. She had become more than a storyteller. She was a bridge between worlds, a sea star whose spirit was as deep and fathomless as the ocean itself. She shared tales of the polar night, of the creatures that thrived in the cold, and of the skies that told stories of their own. Her friends listened, their eyes wide with amazement. They realized that Stella's adventures were more than just journeys. They were a testament to the interconnectedness of all life, a reminder that every creature, from the smallest plankton to the mightiest whale, played a part in the ocean symphony. Stella's adventures had taught her that every moment was a story waiting to be lived, and every story was a life that intertwined with others in the vast tapestry of the sea. And so, under the starlit sky, Stella's voice mingled with the chorus of the ocean, her tales a melody in the grand song of the deep. That was amazing! And our next game is game number two. So let's start! And today we're gonna learn about the animals. Look how many animals we have here. We have giraffe, we have bear that's holding the bee. We have elephant, we have crocodile, we have horse, we have monkey, and we have rhino, and we also have the hedgehog puzzle that we're gonna solve. Let's start! Okay, so let's start with finding the hedgehog, and we have the Mr. Pig who's gonna help us. Okay. So let's take this cube and rotate and see if there is the hedgehog or maybe the part of the hedgehog. And if we can't find Mr. Pig, he's always gonna help us. Okay. Hmm. Does it seem to you that this is the part of the hedgehog? Yes, Mr. Pig saying. Okay, we found our first piece. Let's go with the second one. And let's rotate and see if there is the hedgehog. Or maybe the part of the hedgehog. If you see, then please let me know. Great. Let's try to find hmm, where it could be. And hmm, is this a part of the hedgehog, Mr. Pig? Yes, we found another puzzle piece. We already found two of them. Let's continue with the next one. So the next one gonna be this one. Okay, and let's try to find and rotate. Can you see the hedgehog? Let me know if you see the hedgehog. Let's rotate this way. And if you see the hedgehog, then tell me please. 
Here we have the Hedgehog. Great, we found another puzzle piece. Amazing. Okay, let's take this one and rotate. We always should start by rotating the cube and see the, all the images before we decide to take it. Is this a hedgehog? Yes, it's a hedgehog. Great. Let's take this and another one we have here. Okay, where is the hedgehog? We need a violet color, right? Where is the hedgehog? Oh, here is the hedgehog. Great. Another puzzle piece. And let's take this one and rotate. And where is the hedgehog? The hedgehog also is holding the apple. So where it could be? Hmm, Mr. Pig, is this a hedgehog? <laughs> Yes, this is the part of the hedgehog. So here is the apple and the part of the hedgehog. Great. So the next one. Let's rotate and see if there is the apples. We need to find the apples. Where they could be. Hmm. This is the apples, but they are small. We need a big one. Yes, this is the big one's apples. Great. Let's take, because this is the part of the hedgehog puzzle. We only left with two puzzle pieces. So, what we have here, we need the hedgehog, the body of the hedgehog. Right, where is the hedgehog? Can you tell me? And yes, here it is, great. Is this a hedgehog, Mr. Pig? <laughs> yes, great. So, the next one and the last one. We need a hedgehog with apples. Where is the hedgehog? Let me know where it is. And here is the apples and the hedgehog. Great, let's take this. We found all the puzzle pieces for our puzzle. Okay, let's start to combine them. And here is the face of the hedgehog and the apple. So the next one gonna be hmm, where we should start. It's gonna be this one, the ear of the hedgehog and the hair. Great, and here is the apple. Great, let's take our apples here and combine. We're doing really good. And slowly, always, let's do it slowly. Like this, and great, it's coming out really good. So here is another puzzle piece. Here is the face of the hedgehog. Great. And here is another hedgehog part. And the last one. Let's try it. And yes, we've completed the hedgehog puzzle. Great. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Mr. Pig. So the next puzzle that we have was the animal puzzle. Great. So let's do it. So let's pick this one. So who is that? It's a crocodile. Okay, and where is the crocodile? Can you see the crocodile here? Where is the crocodile? Right, it is here. Great. We found our first animal. And next one, let's maybe try this one. And who is that? That's holding the bee, right? It's a happy bee bear. Great. Let's take our bear and place it to this shape. Great. So we need to find the elephant. Where is the elephant? Let's open this one. Is this an elephant? No, this is giraffe. Okay. Is this an elephant? No, this is the horse. Okay, is this an elephant? Let's rotate. Yes, this is the elephant. Great, let's place it here. We found our third animal. So let's try to find giraffe. Is this a giraffe? No, it's a monkey, the happy monkey. Okay, where is the giraffe? Is this a giraffe? No, it's a horse. Is this a giraffe? 
No, it's a rhino. Okay, maybe this one is a giraffe. Let's turn around and who is that? It's a giraffe, great. Giraffe is going this place and great. You're doing amazing. So we've got the next one gonna be the horse. Let's try to pick our shapes. So is this a horse? No, it's a rhino. Is this a horse? No, it's a monkey. Okay, so we have this one puzzle piece. Let's open on one, two, and three. Who is that? It's a horse. Great, the horse coming here. Well done, correct. So let's try to find the monkey. And we only left with two puzzle pieces. But this one and this one. So it's a left and right. Which one should we pick? Okay, let's do the right one and turn around. And who is that with the tail? Who is this? Remember? This is right. This is the rhino. Okay. And who is this? Yes, this is the monkey. The animal of the jungle. And where the monkey is going? Yes, the monkey is going to its place. Like this. Great. So the next one is the rhino. Well done, we found the rhino. And where the rhino gonna go? Let's see, rhino is trying to find his place. And yes, we've completed the animal puzzle. So we found the giraffe, you see the yellow with orange giraffe. Then we found the bear with the bee holding the bee. Great. The next one is the elephant. The gray color, right? With the big ears. And this one is horse. Let's say it together. Horse. Great. And after the horse, we have... Who is that? You know the name? It's monkey. Well done. Correct. So monkey have a really long tail. Amazing. And the last one, you can see this animal in the zoo. Who is that? You know the name. Let's say it together. One, two, three. Rhino. Great. Congratulations. We've completed the animal puzzle. And we also completed the hedgehog puzzle. Well done. We've completed two puzzles. You're doing amazing. See you in the next video. Great, well done. And here we have game number three. Let's go. And today we're gonna learn about the wild animals. And today we also have two friends with us. We have the tiger and we also have the camel. All right, so let's start. So first, let's start with our wild animal puzzle board. Okay, so let's pick our first animal. And the first animal that we're gonna pick, let's take this one. And let's turn around and who we have here. Do you know who it is? Do you know his name? Yes, it's a zebra. It starts with letter Z. Zebra. Great. And zebra has the black and white stripes, right? So, where we should place the zebra? Let's find the place for the zebra on this board. Let's try our first, maybe here. Could it go? No. If we're gonna turn around? No. So, we can turn around the zebra, right? In every position. So, maybe like, let's try here. But if we're gonna turn around, and yes, great, it worked pretty well. So we found our first animal. Okay, let's continue with the next one. And let's pick this big puzzle, right? It's really big one and really heavy. So let's turn around. And who we have here? Do you know who it is? 
Can you say it? Let's say on one, two, three. It's a mama elephant. Great. Well done. And who we have here? It's a baby elephant. Great. So let's take this puzzle piece and let's find the place for it. So you see that this is the small one. So we can place here or here or here or here, right? So there is only one place where we can place our elephants. So let's do it together. And congratulations, we found second puzzle piece for our board. Great, we found two wild animals. One zebra and two elephants. Great, let's continue. So the next puzzle piece that we're gonna take gonna be mm, this one. So let's take this one and turn around. And who we have here? Can you see? We have here with the two horns. You see it smiling. Who is that? It's a rhino. Great. And let's look where we can place our the rhino, the animal. So maybe we can try here. No, it doesn't work here. So maybe we can turn around. No. So if we're gonna turn around, maybe like this. No, but we need the image to be seen. So we're gonna pick this one. So the rhino goes like this and find the place. Great. So the next one. Oh, who we have here? Here we have Mr. Pig helping us. Okay, we're gonna listen to Mr. Pig and Mr. Pig gonna help us to find the next animal. So Mr. Pig gonna choose. So let's see. Mr. Pig is saying this one. And what we have here? Mr. Pig is saying that this is not animal and Mr. Pig is right. So this is the tree and the name for the tree is Savannah tree. Great, so we're gonna take this one and place it right here. Amazing, and Mr. Pig is pretty excited about the next one. So let's take the next one. Let's see where Mr. Pig is going. He's saying that we should take this one. So let's turn around and who we have here? Oh, we have a, like a really big animal. And who is that? Can you say Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig is saying that this is the buffalo. Great. So let's take our buffalo and let's find the place. Should we place it here? No. Should we place it here? Yes, we found another animal. We already found four animals. One, two, three, and four. And we also found savanna tree. So let's give the Mr. Pig the try to find the next one. Okay, you. this one. Okay, let's take this one. And who we have here? You know this animal. It's a king of the jungle. Who is that? It's a lion, okay. And where we should place the lion? Let's find the place. Should we place it here? No. Let's maybe, where the lion is going? Lion is going here, great. We found the lion, the king of the jungle. Okay, let's find the next one. And let's listen to Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig is saying that this one, we should take the, this one. Okay, let's take animal and who we have here also it looks like a lion but this is the different animal it's called leopard and it starts with letter l leopard l great so where the leopard is going leopard is going to his place and yes great we found another animal okay so let's Maybe turn around this one. And who we have here? This is called monkey. Okay, and where is the monkey going? Let's see where the monkey is going. M, monkey. Here's the place for the monkey. And yes, we found another animal, the wild one. So we only left with the last animal. And let's turn around and who we have here? with a long neck. You see, it's a really long neck. Okay, it's called giraffe. Great, we found the giraffe. So we're gonna take this giraffe and place it into our board. 
and where we should place on our board. Can you say to me where I should place this? Yes, you're right, I should place it here. Good job. So let's place our giraffe here. Great, amazing. And we completed our puzzle with the help of Mr. Pig. Okay, great. So we've completed our first puzzle. So let's continue with the next one. So the next one gonna be the cubes, right? So who we have, who, who we need to find here is the tiger. Okay, and Mr. P gonna help us. So Mr. P is saying that the first step that we should do is to turn around all the puzzle pieces and try to see if there is the tiger. So is here is the tiger, right? So we're gonna place it here. So the next one, is this a tiger? Can you see? Yes, it's a tiger, it's a tiger. Okay, let's place it here. So the next one, let's turn around and see if we, we need to look for the tiger. Let's turn around and yes, here is the tiger. Another puzzle piece, so we already found three. So the next one, let's turn around and see if there is the tiger. Let's turn around the, oh, who is that? It's the tail of the tiger, great. So we found four puzzle pieces. Let's turn around and see if there is the tiger. And hmm, let's ask Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig, what do you think? Is this a tiger? <laughs> yes, Mr. Pig is saying that this is the head of the tiger and the ear. Okay, we're gonna take this to our puzzle piece. And then the next one, let's give to Mr. Pig to see which one. He's saying this one, we should take this one. Okay, let's do it. Turn around and see if there is the tiger. Let's turn around. Hmm, it seems to be there is no tiger. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig is saying that there is no tiger, but he's saying that here is the apples, right? And here we have apples. So it seems to be that this is from the tiger puzzle piece, great. Okay, the next one, let's turn around and see if there is the tiger. Hmm. And if we don't know if it's a tiger or not, we're gonna ask Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig, where's the tiger? Mr. Pig is saying that we should turn around and... Yes, here is the tiger, great. Let's place, and then the next one, who we have here. Here we need again to find the tiger. Let's look for the tiger. T, tiger, great. And Mr. Pig is saying that this is the tiger. Amazing. So we only have last piece that we need to turn around. And let's look who we have here. The tiger, right? We need a tiger. Hmm. Mr. Pig, what do you think? Mr. Pig is saying that this puzzle piece is tiger because this one is the small part of the tiger ear. Okay, let's trust Mr. Pig and place it here. Great, and right now, Mr. Pig is saying that we should combine them. So we should start with what, Mr. Pig? We should start with face. So here's the face of the tiger, right? So here is two puzzle pieces that we're gonna connect. Then we're gonna continue with the mouth. So this and this. Together, great, we have a face of the tiger. And Mr. Pig is saying that we should continue with the tail of the tiger. So we're gonna take the tail and here we have the tail and here we have another part of the tiger. Great, it looks really good. So then we need, so here we have apples. You see the red apple and here we have red apples. So we're gonna combine them together like this. Amazing. And then we have a small part of the head of the tiger and great. And here is another part of the tiger. Remember the Mr. Pig said, that, said this to us, the small part of the ear. Thank you, Mr. Pig. And well done. We've completed the tiger puzzle. Amazing. This is another wild animal. So let's continue with the next one. Thank you, Mr. Pig. So the next one gonna be the camel. Okay, so 
and Mr. Pig again. Let's listen to Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig is saying to us that we should turn around them and try to find the camel first before we start to combine them. So let's try to find the camel. Hmm. Mr. Pig, is this a camel? Yes, so here's our first puzzle piece of the camel. Great, so let's turn around and if we need help, we're gonna ask Mr. Pig. This seems to me like another puzzle piece for the camel. And let's try to connect like this. Great, we've combined our first puzzle pieces. So let's again turn around and see for the camel. Okay, let's look for the camel. Hmm. Let's ask Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, is this a camel? <laughs> yes, Mr. Pig is saying that this is the camel, so we're gonna place it here. Okay, let's do the next one. And try to find the camel. Right, camel, C camel. Okay, where it could be? Mm. Mr. Pig, let's ask the Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig, what do you think? And Mr. Pig is saying that we should take this one. Try it. Okay, let's take this one and place it here at the moment. Great. So the next one, let's take this puzzle piece. And Mr. Pig, what do you think of this one? It seems to me like a yellow sand that what we need. Yes, Mr. Pig is saying yes. So let's place it here and then take another one and rotate. And if there is the camel, let me know, right? Say yes if you see the camel. Yes, here is the camel. Good job, we found another puzzle piece. So then let's take this one and rotate and see if there is the camel. Mr. Pig, is this the legs of the camel? Great, let's take this here. So the next one, let's rotate and see if there is the camel. Mm. There is the camel. Yes, this is the camel, okay. So then let's try to find here if there is the camel. Hmm, seems to me. Let's turn around again and see if there is the camel. Mr. Pig, can you help us? Mr. Pig saying to rotate this side. Okay, yes, Mr. Pig. Yes, he's saying that this could be the camel. Okay, nice. We found all the puzzle pieces for the camel. Great, and Mr. Pig gonna help us this time. So Mr. Pig is gonna combine the face like this. Great, thank you, Mr. Pig. And then Mr. Pig gonna take this part, right? So this one, and then, yes, great, amazing. So we almost have three puzzle pieces combined. So the next one, Mr. Pig is saying, we should take the legs. Thank you, Mr. Pig, amazing. And the next one, could be the tail, right? Amazing, so we are moving really fast. You're doing so well. So let's take this one. And Mr. Pig is saying that this could be the another puzzle piece that could help us, could help us to combine those puzzles. So let's help Mr. Pig and great, amazing. So then the next one, Mr. Pig is saying that we, this we should take. Okay, let's take and help Mr. Pig, and yes! Thank you, Mr. Pig. <laughs> Amazing. So we have left with two puzzle pieces. So Mr. Pig is saying we should take this one, and what did it say, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig is saying that we should turn around like this. Yes, and then, great, thank you, Mr. Pig. Thank you very much, great, thank you. Okay, so we have the last puzzle piece this one right mr pig yes so let's turn around and should we do like this mr pig is saying no we should turn around and place it this way yes mr pig what do you think hmm let's try this let's try that and then okay let's do this seems like great Yes, Mr. Pig is saying yes, amazing. Okay, so we completed our camel puzzle. So here we have a camel in the sand, right? Thank you, Mr. Pig, thank you. So we completed the camel puzzle, right? We've completed the 
tiger puzzle, right? So we've completed two puzzles. And we also learned about the wild animals. Great. So we've completed one by one and you've done this amazing and great. See you in the next video. Amazing, we just completed the game number three. And here we have game number four. It's time to play and solve it. Let's go. Hello kids, and today we're gonna learn about the wild animals names. Okay, so we have here the camel, the horse, the ostrich, the eagle, peacock, kangaroo, hedgehog, orangutan, crocodile, sea lions, and polar bear. And we also have the monkey puzzle that we're gonna solve. So let's start. Okay, let's start with monkey puzzle. And first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna try to find the monkey. So we're gonna rotate the puzzle piece and see if there is the part of the monkey. Right, so let's do it differently. And here we have the ear of the monkey. Great. So let's move it here and let's take the next one. And who we have here? Again, we need to find the monkey, right? So, hmm, where it could be? Let's ask Mr. Pig, should we take this, this puzzle piece? Is this a monkey, Mr. Pig? Yes, this is the monkey. Great, let's take the next one. Hmm, I think there will be no monkey. So let's ask Mr. Pig, is this the puzzle piece from the monkey? Yes, we're gonna take this. So the next one, let's take this one and rotate slowly. And if you see the ear of the monkey, then let me know. Okay, here is the ear of the monkey. Let's take this. And the next one, what we have here? Okay, let's rotate. Is this a tail of the monkey, Mr. Pig? <laughs> Yes, this is the tail of the monkey. Let's take this. Great. And let's take another puzzle piece and rotate and see if there is the monkey. Or maybe the tail, or maybe the ear, or maybe the smile of the monkey. But I can't see any monkey here. So let's ask Mr. Pig. And Mr. Pig gonna help us. Is this a part of the monkey puzzle? <laughs> Mr. Pig saying yes. Great, let's place it here. Let's take the next one. And when we don't know where is the monkey, then we're gonna ask the Mr. Pig. Here, let's rotate and see if there is the monkey. If you see the monkey, then let me know. Mm. This one, I think this one is the monkey. Great, let's take. Here we have another one puzzle piece. So let's rotate and see if there is the monkey. Hmm, maybe the leg of the monkey or the hand of the monkey or the eye of the monkey. Let's try to find. I think it's this one. What do you think, Mr. Pig? <laughs> yes, it's this one. We should take this one. Great. And last one we have. And Mr. Pig gonna help us. So let's rotate and see. If there is the monkey somewhere, hmm, let's rotate and hmm, is this a part of the monkey puzzle, Mr. Pig? <laughs> yes, great. So here we have the monkey puzzle. So we're gonna start with the face of the monkey. And what we need, we need the ears. So here are the ears of the monkey, right? So here is the right ear and here is the left ear like this and we need the mouth of the monkey here so here is the mouth of the monkey okay and here is the sun where we can place the sun like this great and we need the tail of the monkey so let's grab the tail and great, here is the tail of the monkey. And 
This is the leg of the monkey. So we just need to between them slowly like this. Great, well done, good job. And we only left with two puzzle pieces. So let's maybe try this one here. And this one here, great. We've completed the monkey puzzle, amazing. Thank you, Mr. Pig, for helping us. And what we have here is the animal puzzle. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take them out, like that, and we're gonna mix them, right, like this. So we don't know where is our animal. Okay, great. So let's grab it here, and okay, so first, who we need to find gonna be the camel, right. So let's try to find the camel. And where could be the camel? Let's rotate. This is a orangutan. This is not a camel. So next one, is this a camel? No, this is horse. And next one, who is that? This is eagle. Right, we need a camel. Hmm, who is that? This is crocodile. It's not a camel. So we need a camel. Who is this? It's kangaroo. Mm, where is the camel? Is this a camel? No, this is polar bear. Maybe this one. And yes, this is the camel. So camel goes to his place. Here, great, we found the camel. So let's try to find the horse. So let's take this one and rotate. And who is that? It's a peacock. And let's, who is that? It's a polar bear. Mm, where is the horse? And who is that? It's a crocodile. We need a horse. And who is this? It's a sea lion. Mm, where could be the horse? Maybe this one. Yes, this is the horse. So horse is going to the place, like that. Great, we found the horse. And the next one is ostrich. So let's try to find the ostrich. And here we have the Mr. Pig, who gonna help us. So Mr. Pig is searching. And this is polar bear. Mm, we need the ostrich, and who is that? This is crocodile. Mm, who is this? <laughs> This is sea lions. No, we need the ostrich. Who is that? It's a kangaroo. Okay, maybe this one. Yes, this is the ostrich. So Mr. Pig gonna help us and place the ostrich. Great, we found the ostrich. And let's continue with the eagle. So let's go to our shapes. And let's rotate this one. Who is that? It's an eagle? No, this is a orangutan. And the next one, who is that? It's a peacock. Mm. And who is this? It's a hedgehog, it's not eagle. Okay, let's rotate this one. And yes, it's eagle, great. So let's place the eagle down here well done so let's try to find the next one orangutan so let's go to our shapes and let's pick any of this maybe this one who is that it's a polar bear and we need orangutan and who is this it's a crocodile and we need orangutan who is that you know, it's hedgehog. Okay, where's the orangutan? Maybe this one. Yes, this is a orangutan. And the orangutan trying to find his place. Here, amazing. So the next one, we need the hedgehog, right? So the small animal, great. So let's try to see which one of these shapes is the smallest one. This one, this one, or this one. Which one of those three should we 
turn this one okay and here we have kangaroo okay and here we have polar bear great and who we have here yes hedgehog so hedgehog is trying to find his place and great we found the hedgehog and let's try to find the kangaroo okay so Mr. P gonna help us. Where's the kangaroo? And yes, here is the kangaroo. Yes, yes, here is the kangaroo jumping here. And great, we found the kangaroo. Thank you, Mr. P. Thank you very much. And the next one we need to find gonna be the peacock. See here, we have a peacock right here, great. So we left with few shapes. So let's turn this one and it's, you know it, polar bear. And this one is crocodile. And this one is sea lions. And the last one is Peacock, so peacock, we found the peacock, great, amazing, so next one, who we need to find, gonna be the crocodile, amazing, let's look for the crocodile, and who is that, it's a sea lion, right, and this one is polar bear, and this one is crocodile, Right, here comes the crocodile. Great. Amazing. Next one is sea lions. So let's look to our two shapes. Where is the sea lions? Where do you think? Left or right? Left or right? Yes, right, correct. It's a sea lions. Great. Sea lions is going here. Well done. And the last one, you already know it, it's a polar bear. So let's take the polar bear and turn around. And who is that? You know it, it's a polar bear, great. The last puzzle piece, amazing. We've completed all the puzzle pieces on this board. So we found the camel, the horse, the ostrich, the eagle, the orangutan, the hedgehog, the kangaroo, the peacock, the cr crocodile, the sea lions, and the polar bear. Well done! See you in the next video! Congratulations! We just completed the game 4. And here we have our game 5. Let's start! And today we're gonna learn the numbers and also the colors. And we're also gonna learn how to count them. And as additional, we have the panda puzzle that we're gonna solve. So let's start. Oh, where did the numbers go? And the circles and the puzzles. Hmm, I think they are in these crayons. So let's try to find them. Let's open our first crayon. And it's gonna be the yellow one. Let's shake. Wow, here we have the, the shape, but we also have the numbers. Great. So let's start with the puzzles. And we have panda here, and you can see it's a mouth of the panda. Okay, so let's maybe place right now in the center and then take another puzzle piece. And this is the corner puzzle piece. So it is flower, grass, and the part of the body of the panda. So we can place it maybe here at the moment. And let's go with the number. So here we have number five. And it's a blue color. So let's count one, two, three, four, and five. Great. And let's take our circles, wheels. 
blue wheels and let's place them one two three four and five great well done so let's keep going and let's open the next crayon so it's gonna be the brown okay. great and let's take the puzzle piece and let's turn around and here we have the grass of the panda okay here is the grass and here is the panda so maybe let's place right now here and see if we're gonna move later great okay let's take the number so this is number three and it's a yellow color so let's count one two three great and let's take those yellow wheels and let's count one two and three great well done we already found two numbers and we also step by step completing the puzzle let's keep going and the next crane that we're gonna take gonna be the red one let's take and let's take it let's open wow we have the number and the puzzle so let's start with the puzzle let's turn around and what we have here we have the eyes of the panda and here we have a mouth so let's combine them like this great well done so then let's take the number so this is number four and let's place on the board let's count one two three and four great and let's take the wheels and let's count them one two three and four great let's take the next crayon so the next crayon that we're gonna take gonna be the orange one let's pick it and shake let's open oh how many things we have we have here two numbers let's start with the puzzle so here we have the puzzle let's turn around and here we have the part of the panda grass and the ocean so let's take and try to place on the board and i think it should go here but i'm not sure let's do it no but here we can see here is the grass and here is the grass so maybe if we're gonna turn around and do like this then it's gonna work out so let's try yes we've combined those puzzle pieces great and let's take the number so here we have the number nine and it's a pink color so let's count one two three four five six seven eight and nine great and we have nine wheels that we need to count and it's a pink color wheels so let's go it's one two three four five six seven eight and nine great and we have the second number so it is number two great and it's a red color so let's place on the board we have one two here great and let's take the wheels so we have here one and we have here two amazing well done great job and we only left with three crayons so let's pick the next one and the next one that we're gonna pick gonna be the pink crayon let's shake and open wow it looks pretty good we have two puzzles and the number so let's start with the puzzle pieces and turn around and here we have the blue color ocean Hmm, and where we can place it let's think together and let's turn around like this and try to place here and connect together those puzzle pieces great and let's take another one and here we have the bamboo tree and the panda body so let's maybe try to place it right here great well done so next we're gonna look at the number and here is the number 
six. So it's a pink color, number six. And let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great, and we have six pink wheels. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great, we've completed almost all our numbers and we almost completed our puzzle. Keep, let's keep going on this puzzle adventure and number adventure. And the next train that we're gonna take, gonna be the blue. And let's say, open, wow, we have a lot of here stuff. Okay, let's take the puzzle piece and let's turn around. What we have here, Okay, we have part of the panda holding the bamboo tree. Okay, and let's try maybe to place it here. So here is the part of the hand of, of the panda and here is the ear of the panda, like this. Great. And the next that we're gonna pick, gonna be the number. And it's number eight. Okay, and where we can place the number eight? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great, and we also have eight wheels that we need to place on a board. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great, well done. And we also have the number one. So it always starts with the number one. So let's place on a board like this. Great. And we also have one wheel. Great, we've completed this. And we only left with the last crayon. And the last crayon is green color. And let's take it and shape it like this. Let's open it. Wow, we have two numbers and we have puzzle piece. Okay, let's start with the puzzle piece. And this is the last puzzle piece that we need for this puzzle game with Panda. So let's turn around. And what we have here? Here we have the ear of the Panda and the eye of the Panda. So it should go here because there is no any other place where we can fit it. So let's do like this. Great, we've completed this Panda puzzle that Panda is holding the bamboo and sitting on a grass full of flowers. Great. Let's take the numbers. Okay, and here we have the number 10 and it's the last number that we have on number board. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great. And let's take those violet wheels and let's place them. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great, amazing. Well done, and we have the last number, and the last number is number seven, orange color. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Great, and we have seven orange wheels. One, two, three, four, five, six, and last one, seven. Great, amazing, congratulations. We've completed this puzzle game. So we've completed the numbers game and the panda puzzle game. So we learned about the numbers. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's look at the panda. Here is the panda eyes. Here is the panda nose. Here is the bamboo tree. Here is panda hands. Here is panda legs. Here is the grass and flowers. And also, if we look at the numbers, let's see the colors. So this is red color, this is orange color, 
this is yellow color, this is green color, this is blue color, this is pink color, this is orange color, and this is also blue color, and this is also pink color, and the last one is violet color. Great, and we also have smiley face, and he's smiling that we've completed all of the puzzle games. Amazing. See you in the next video. Yay, that was great. And the next game, our last one, it's game number six. So let's prepare ourselves and let's go. And today we're gonna learn about the animals. And we have a jungle. And here we have puzzle full of animals. We have giraffe, we have leopard, we have monkey, we have panda, tiger, we have another panda, the bird, and we have the sun and clouds. So let's start. Okay, so it's time to find the puzzle pieces for our puzzle board. So the first step that we're gonna do is that we're gonna turn around all the puzzle pieces so it's easier for us to find the puzzles and complete this puzzle board so let's turn around all the pieces okay so we have few left that we need to turn around okay so and the last one Great, so right now we've turned around all the puzzle pieces and here we have our image that's gonna help us to complete this puzzle. Okay, so let's start. So first animal that we're gonna find gonna be the leopard. So you can see it has the yellow with brown dots. Okay, and the leopard is smiling. So what we need to do, we need to find the old puzzle pieces that have the yellow with brown dots. Can you see this one? This is the part of the leopard. So let's take this puzzle piece and let's place on a board. Okay, and then let's find the next one. Let's try to find the yellow body with brown dots. Is this a yellow body with brown dots? The leg? Correct. Let's take this puzzle piece and place it amazing let's try to find is this a yellow with brown no it's a brown with the brown color so this one is the tail of the leopard let's take this and place on the board let's try to find the next one is this a leopard yellow with the brown dots correct let's take this and place it here then the next one Yes, this is again the leopard with brown dots. Correct. Okay, so let's look at our image that's got that helping us. Let's look. So here we have the body, the tail, the head and the legs, right? So let's try to combine. So this is gonna be in the corner like this. So we have here the mushroom. And here is our leopard sitting. So the next one gonna be the tail of the leopard. So let's combine and press. Great, we just combine our first puzzle piece. And the next one gonna be the legs of the leopard, right? So let's connect them together and great. And the next one is the face. You see the leopard is smiling. Okay, let's take this puzzle piece and move it here and press. Great! So we almost completed the leopard. And the last one gonna be the leopard face. So here's the eyes and nose, right? So let's connect them together and great! Done! So what we need to find is the tail. So small part of the tail and the ear right so let's try to find them so let's try to find the ear and the tail of the leopard and this one gonna take a bit of time because it's it's so small details but we need to find them 
So maybe this one looks like a ear of the leopard. Let's take the ear of the leopard and place it here. So let's connect together and press great. So we just need to find the tail of the leopard. Can you see the tail of the leopard? Hmm, let's look again. So let's look at our helping picture. And you see here is the tail. That's what we need to find. And if you look at this puzzle piece here, you can see the small part of the tail and the bird. So let's try to take this puzzle piece and let's move and press like this together. Great, we've completed the leopard. So the next animal that we're gonna try to find gonna be the giraffe. And you see the giraffe has pretty long neck, right? So, and the giraffe is pretty tall. So let's try to find the giraffe. So we need to find brown color. You see the giraffe is brown color. So let's find the puzzle pieces that has the giraffe brown color. So is this a giraffe? Let's look. Let's compare to our image, this one. Yes, correct. So we're gonna take this here and just gonna leave it. Then let's try to find the next one. Let's look at this one. Is this a giraffe? This part, can you see? Yes, correct. Let's take this. So the next one again, let's look at this. Is this a giraffe? You see, let's take and let's try to compare. So, yes, correct. Let's place it on our board. So we already found three puzzle pieces. Let's continue. So what we need to find is the neck. Is this a neck of the giraffe? Let's look at the guiding picture. And yes, this is the neck, you see? This is the neck of the giraffe. Let's take this and place on our board. So we already found one, two, three, four puzzle pieces. So. Let's try to find the face of the giraffe. So let's look at the image. So here is the face. So we need to find different parts. So maybe try to find the nose of the giraffe. So let's look at this, mm, where it could be. We accidentally found the head of the giraffe. You see, here is the sun. Let's look again together. So here is the sun, the giraffe head, and here is the giraffe and the sun. So let's take this and place it here. So the next one we're gonna try to find gonna be the nose of the giraffe. And still it's pretty hard because it's really small detail. But let's look at this puzzle piece. Can you see there is the small part of the giraffe? And let's compare. So here we are. Here's the nose of the giraffe and here's the giraffe. Great, let's take this and let's place on our board. And the last one gonna be the tail of the giraffe, right? So here we have the part of the tail, right? And we need to find the bottom part. So if we look at this puzzle piece, this one, we could see that here are the legs and the tail. And let's look at the guiding image. Can you see the legs and the tail? Great, let's take this. Okay, so right now, we found all the puzzle pieces. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to connect them. So the first thing that we're gonna start with gonna be the neck of the giraffe. So here is the neck of the giraffe, right? And here is the neck of the giraffe. So let's combine and press tray. So the next one gonna be the face of the giraffe and the ear. So let's see where the face, can you see? Here is the small horns of the giraffe and the sun. So if you look here, we have the sun and the face, right? So let's press it and great, amazing. And then the next one, what we have is gonna be the legs of the giraffe, right? So here is the flower and the legs. And also the part of the leopard, you see? The small part, let's press and Great, and let's look at our guiding image. Let's look at our guiding image. Let's look, here are our legs. They are at the bottom, right? So let's take this and let's place it here, right? Like this, great. But we need 
a puzzle piece that gonna combine them and I think it should be this one. Let's try and see. Does it look great to you? Does it connect? Yes, because we have the tail, we have the legs and we have the body. So let's press. Amazing. Well done. So the last one that we need to combine gonna be the body. So we're gonna complete the body, you see? And here's the small part of our Simba lion, right? So here's the giraffe and let's press it. Great. We almost completed the giraffe, but we left some pieces, the legs. So we need to find the leg, right? So let's try and see where is the leg. Let's try to find it. Mm, where you can see the giraffe leg. Can you see? Yes, here's the giraffe leg. Let's look at our guiding image and you can see that here's the giraffe leg. Yes, great. Let's take this and try to press. Great, amazing. And the, another piece that we have, but we haven't used, gonna be the nose of the giraffe. Here you see, here we have the nose of the giraffe. It's really important to focus on small details. So great, let's, amazing, complete. So the next one that we're gonna try to find gonna be the monkey. Let's look at this. Here is our monkey that's standing on one hand. Great. And here's our face of the monkey. Here's our first puzzle piece. So let's try to play. And where is the face of the monkey? Here is the face of the monkey. So let's try to connect and press. Great, we found the face of the monkey. Nice job. So the next one gonna be the tail of the monkey, right? So let's look at the guiding image. Here is the tail of the monkey that what we need to find. And let's look, here is our puzzle piece, the tail of the monkey, you see? Amazing, so let's take this puzzle piece and let's place it, so like here. So we have found the tail and boom, done, great. And we need to find the left leg, right? The left leg of the monkey. So here we have the left leg. Let's try to combine with other puzzle pieces. And let's press, should we do it? And yes, great. We completed the half of the puzzle. We found the monkey, the leopard and the giraffe. And also we have the funny sun, great. So the next one that we're gonna complete gonna be the tiger. Can you see the tiger? So it has the orange color with black stripes. Okay, so we need to find the puzzle pieces that has the orange color with black stripes. Can you see? This is the orange with black stripes. This is the tail of the tiger. Great, so let's try to put it on the puzzle. So here we also have ladybug and press it. Great. We found the tail of the tiger. And then let's try to find other pieces of the tiger. So is this the tiger? Tiger is standing. You see the orange with black stripes and the white belly. Let's look at our guiding image and compare. Yes, this is the piece that we need. So let's try to combine and one, two, three, let's press. Great. We found the bottom part of the tiger. We found the tail and the legs and a bit of belly. Great. So what we need to find is the hand of the tiger here. So let's take this one piece and let's compare. Yes, this is the piece that we need. So let's take this piece and try to connect like this and Great, we found another piece for the tiger. Amazing. So there is the face of the tiger. And can you see the face of the tiger? Is this a tiger? No, is this a tiger? No, is this is the tiger? Yes. Let's take this puzzle piece and connect like this and press. Great, well done. So we need to find the part of the tiger, but we also need to find the panda. Let's look at our guiding image. Guiding image is always helping us. So here is the 
hand and here is the baby panda and mama panda so let's try to find the mama panda and the baby panda let's look at our puzzle pieces that we are left with so this is all puzzle pieces that we are left with where is the mama panda and the baby panda together is this one yes correct or this one this one correct well done so let's take this and place it and press great amazing and then let's try to find the another panda you can see at the top there is another panda sitting and eating bamboo okay maybe this is the father can you see the panda here can you tell me where is the panda can you tell yes this is the panda let's take this puzzle piece and we need to place this here let's look at our guiding image and yes here is the puzzle piece you see at the top of the tiger right above the tiger we have this puzzle piece let's take this and where we should place this puzzle piece tell me where we should place do you know where we should place this puzzle piece yes you're correct well done let's place it here and press amazing so we are left with few puzzle pieces to complete this jungle animal puzzle great let's take next one and the next one gonna be the simba the lion okay can you see the simba so we need a face here's the face of the simba right so and here is another part of the face can we connect these pieces together right away like this yes great so we found two pieces and then we connected them so let's take all of this together so here is the bird and here is the bird right where we should place this do you know where we should place these puzzle pieces yes we should place them like this and let's press and yes amazing well done and then what we need to find is the eye of the panda here so we need the eye the left eye let's look at our guiding image let's look at this puzzle piece and this image can you see the eye and here is the eye so it's gonna place like this great let's take this one let's look at our puzzle do you see where we should place this puzzle piece can you see the place yes you're right nice job we should place it right here amazing so we left with three puzzle pieces so what we need to do we need to find the tail of the simba let's look at this puzzle piece can you see that there is the tail of the simba here yes and that's what we need let's look at our puzzle do you know where we should place this puzzle piece please let me know right now do you know yes you're correct again we should place it right here great job let's press amazing we only left with two puzzle pieces and the second we need to find the leg of the simba can you see the leg which one does contain the leg yes this one so we have the leg and the paw let's take this let's look at our guiding image and yes this is where we should place it at the bottom right of the simba so let's take where we should place this puzzle piece here or here where do you think let me know should we place here yes no you're right we should place it here and press great we almost completed our puzzle piece so the last piece that we need to find gonna be the part of the belly of the simba you see this is the belly with the fury okay let's take this and how we should place it like this or like this please let me know like this yes okay let's try and great we've completed our jungle animal puzzle and here we have the monkey that is dancing here we have the leopard the smiling here we have the giraffe that's relaxing okay here we have the simba the lion that's smiling here we have the father panda here we have the mama panda and the baby panda giving the bamboo to baby panda and here we have the tiger that's having the thumbs up 
Amazing, well done. Yes, you've completed all games. Well done. See you in the next video. Thank you, kids. Bye. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.